Brian here with Help Sell My RV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this 2014 Palomino Puma 30 RLSS double slide bunkhouse travel trailer. Usually I do my videos by starting off on the inside and showing the floor plan, but I'm going to show off the outside first. Uh, the reason is uh, this camper is dirty, filthy dirty on the outside. The owners have not had a chance to detail it at all, uh, but I do want to point out that it is dirty, and if you can get past the dirt, the trailer, as far as condition, I would rate it a uh, great condition. Uh, it is filthy dirty, the front here. Uh, anyway, a little power washing, a little soft scrub of bleach. Uh, some dealers, the detail campers on the outside, will do a 50-50 combination of uh, a cleaner called Awesome. You can get it at the dollar store or Family Dollar. It's just a real cheap looking bottle. It's a yellow bottle, clear bottle actually, and it's a yellow liquid. And uh, mix that with bleach, do a 50-50 combination, and you'll, you'll spot clean the camper. Because uh, that stuff uh, sometimes will bleach out your decal, so you got to be careful when you use that cleaner. But that's what the dealers use a lot of times to uh, detail the campers and get the black streaks off, especially on this corrugated aluminum skin. There is duct tape adhesive on here. This stuff is flaking right off. Easy to clean. Uh, the owner, I've even told the owner, so if y'all are interested in coming out and seeing it, this might even be cleaned up by the time you come out. But anyway, a uh, little goof off. We we'll should take that off. And uh, all your decals pretty much in uh, great condition. I don't, there's no real issues with the decals. It's just, it's filthy dirty. <laughs> awning, 13 foot power awning, and it is filthy dirty. A little soft scrub of bleach. Should clean that up. And again, that uh, cleaning solution, a 50-50 mixture of bleach and uh, the cleaner called Awesome. Uh, a lot of times uh, we'll clean that up real good. But soft scrub of bleach should clean up all awnings pretty good. And here, see? It's just real, real dirty. Anyway. All right. Now we can get past that. All the tires are in good condition. The owners have only used this camper uh, three times, and that's the reason why they're selling it. Uh, this is another uh, area where you would use soft scrub of bleach, clean up that plastic. Anyway, in the door, too. See how filthy it is. Hopefully, this will be cleaned up by the time somebody comes out to look at it. Uh, if you want to come out and look at it, there's the 30 RLS badge. This is the uh, wood frame, corrugated aluminum skin. I did search for uh, any hail damage. That's one of the first things I look for on these aluminum skin jobs. Uh, hail damage is sometimes an issue if uh, they don't cover it. But a lot of times hail will be on just one side of the camper and not on the other. I did not find any issues. I just kind of pan down the side here. You know, the sun's kind of hitting it pretty good. Pan down the side and let's see if I see the little dinks on it. Did not find any issues. I uh, do want to point out spare tire with cover uh, is faded. This is 50 amp service. I'm not used to doing my videos, walk arounds by starting off on the outside, so I'm kind of out of my element right now. This is going to be your fur, your slide out in the living room. It's definitely going to be a super slide. It's about 12 foot long and 3 foot deep. And again, it's dirty. That should clean up like a new penny, so. This little clip right here is broken. Holds up the, the door here, the exterior storage, and this is gonna be up underneath the boot dinette. And I did check this camper for water damage on the inside, did not find any issues, but I'm assuming the roof probably could use a, a servicing uh, with the lap sealant. The owner said they haven't been up on the roof since they've owned it, so let me back up here. Show off that outside. Tires are in good condition. Uh, tires, uh, the axles are easy lube Dexter axles. You can grease uh, your axles in your own home right there. You don't have to take it to a dealership. Outside shower, hot and cold running water. This is going to be your water hookups uh, when you're camping at a campsite. And these are going to be your dump valves or gate valves, your drain valves. All centrally located. It's going to be the heavy duty stabilizer jacks. These are the ones you want. Those electric ones are, uh, they're kind of flimsy. We'll show off that underbelly. It is an enclosed underbelly, but uh, uh, I do not believe it is heated. I'm almost positive it is not heated. All right, huge pass-through storage. This is gonna be up underneath the queen bed. This goes all the way through. And 
back up here, kind of swap that front. It does have the diamond plate on the front, not the bottom. Protects from rock debris when you're traveling down the road. Nice service light. Again, a little soft scrub of bleach. Clean that up real good. Oh, and the cover too. Soft scrub of bleach to clean that up pretty good. And uh, there should be two 30 pound LP tanks underneath there. Of course, your battery. And did not find any issues with rock chips or anything like that on the front. Again, it's only been pulled three times, so. And this is a double door entry. This is going to be your other storage here on the other side. Again, it's dirty. Plant should clean up pretty good. It's up underneath the queen bed, and again, it's passed through. I did notice this is broken. This uh, holds the door. It's a non-issue. It's a five dollar part. Easy to replace. And... I do want to point out, there is one other thing. I do point out everything. There's a little dink, and the owner thinks one of the family members accidentally hit it with a golf ball when they were practicing with golf. It's a little tiny dink. And exterior speakers, LED lights, all the LED lights are working. And oh, I do want to point out, rear manual heavy duty stabilizer jacks and grab handle. All right, let's go inside. Inside is fine. Uh, definitely, a dealer was going to take this in on trade after they detailed it. This probably be they would probably rate it pretty much great to great, great definitely great condition. One through ten, ten being the best. Uh, they would definitely rate this. I would think a nine after they detailed it. Up. Okay, that's that first super slide. Again, it's twelve foot long, about three foot deep. Accommodates the. Uh, jackknife sleeper sofa. I'm one-handed. I've got the mother hands holding the camera, but the back and the bottom lay down like a futon. All the fabrics, excellent condition. Kind of a corduroy look or something. Uh, colors are going to be uh, brown, light tans, and some light blues, baby blues. See if I can get lighting, good lighting on that pillow. Uh, and also on the slide out is the huge U-shaped boot dinette. You could definitely sleep easily two grown adults on this. Just break down those three poles and table collapses down in between the cushions and pretty easy to figure out. Show off the fabrics there. Again, excellent condition. And while we're in the living room, before I go any further, this is going to be the dual rec uh, rocker chairs in the rear. Nice big bay window. Zoom in on those fabrics. Fabrics are the same as the couch, kind of like that corduroy look. Well, it's not even corduroy. Let's see if I can show off there. Uh, I say light tan color. And I did check all four corners for water damage check up in the corners and look for any wrinkling or any soft spots. Uh, the wallpaper on the inside Luan board, basically the inside walls, part out the wallpaper, it, it peels pretty easy when it gets wet so it's pretty easy to tell if there's any water damage. Show off those cabinets there. Uh, LED lights all throughout so it's going to save you on your battery. Uh, yeah, I'll show off the entertainment center. And entertainment center, uh, it's going to be the sitting, well, they just, I guess, bought a TV from Walmart and the stand, but there is a mount, a swivel mount back behind here. You can put, uh, mount that to the swiveling mount. Pretty easy. A stereo, that's going to be uh, it's definitely CD, DVD, MP3. I'm not sure if it's Bluetooth, but you have a USB port, SD slot for memory card. Anyway, and that is equipped with the outside speaker option and let's show off the kitchen here lots of pantry space uh, your refrigerator is going to be a six cubic foot dometic refrigerator show off that dometic bed right there it's gas electric just flip it on a couple hours later you've got a cold fridge and it does have the wood paneling on the front doors again this camper has only been used three times unfortunately and that's the only reason why the owners are selling it Microwave, 
uh, three burner gas cooktop. Usually the front burner is going to be a high output. 22 inch oven. Never been used. Sink. Double bowl sink. With sink covers. Use them as cutting boards. And back up here, show off some of that storage. Lots of counter space. Uh, this counter is actually a solid surface countertop, which is surprising. Because usually on these corrugated aluminum skin campers, it's a laminate top or a, even a foil wrap. But that's a solid uh, Corian style countertop. Definitely nice. All your high traffic areas are all going to be a vinyl flooring. And if I remember right, it's all residential grade and all your fabrics are all stain resistant. Show off those carpets. All right, welcome back into the bunkhouse area. Do you have a curtain for privacy from the living room into the bunkhouse area? This can also be a gaming area if you wanted that option. This is gonna be that second slide out that I showed you where the uh, golf ball hit the side on the outside, but uh, that's gonna break down into a bed that sofa. Or, uh, well, let's, let's go ahead and try it. Actually, let me open up this. There we go, should have done that in the beginning. There we go. And the back and the bottom lay down like a futon, just like the living room sofa. And you can easily sleep, definitely one grown adult. And then above that is our fold away bed, our bunk bed. Put that down, I just did that with one hand. So pretty easy to put down. So you can definitely sleep easily two grown adults in here, probably about four, stick, stick about three or four kids in here. If you wanted to do that, you could. Uh, the bunk bed is rated at 300 pounds. Let's paint around here. I'll show you. Okay, your TV would mount there. And this is going to be where the backer TV backer plate is. And you can drill a, a mount right there if you wanted that option. You got it. All right, while we're in here, this is going to be the master bathroom. Foot flush toilet. And nice tub and shower with skylight medicine cabinet not just a mirror by the way a nice vanity area sink and you do have lots of storage for towels odds and ends toilet paper stuff like that <clears throat> okay uh, and your AC and heat is all ducted I believe this camper is going to be uh, it's going to be at least a 13,500 BTU AC unit <clears throat> on this coach. It might even be a 15. And uh, your furnace, if I remember right, is a 30,000 BTU furnace. More than enough for uh, for a camper uh, of this length. Oh, forgot to point out the length. 34 feet, 9 inches, exterior length. Overall height to the AC unit is 11 feet, 1 inch. This is the queen bed in the master bedroom. Queen bed does lift up, by the way. Nice storage up underneath there. Closets on each side. Kind of paint around here. Looks like there's a good TV right there. And uh, you can actually mount your TV up there if you wanted that option. That's where it would hook up. Nice drawers. You paint around here. Show off. That's your, your door. Your second entry door. Or exit door. And I do want to point out... <coughs> The dry weight on this camper is on this little yellow telltale sticker. I don't know if you can tell right here. 7,856 pounds. Anyway, there we go. And this is a solid door that divide, se separates the bunkhouse area into the master bedroom. And it's going to be your wall thermostat here for your heat and your AC. Pretty easy to figure out. This is going to be a vent fan in the bathroom okay that's your AC uh, it's gonna be at least a 13,500 BTU AC unit and it does have the quick dump feature open up these louvers does a quick dump cools it off real quick after you get cooled off shut it off and all your AC is ducted all throughout pretty cool feature and paint around here You do have a lot of closet space 
for the bunk beds or for the kids or well for anybody oh and this is the other thing uh little scratch here a little scratch here i'm so particular on my videos sometimes it's not even worth it to point it out <laughs> but uh definitely the only thing that'd be a concern to anybody is the fact that it's really dirty just needs good detailing should clean up like a new penny and oh this is going to be your buttons for your awning your power awning and oh buttons for your slide outs right there and here here's your monitor panel so i was looking for it's gonna be your monitor panel tells you where you are on your trailer as far as your holding tank capacities uh your holding to fresh water tank is right there uh, i believe it's gonna be a 51 gallon fresh water tank your black tank i believe is gonna be a 42 gallon black water tank or toilet tank and your gray tank which is your sink and shower i believe it's 74 gallon your gray or your galley tank but uh water heater switch right here and your water pump your water heater is going to be six gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater flip switch on whether you're boondocking or you're hooked up to shore power i think the electric switch is probably inside the service panel on the outside uh, if you're hooked up to electric you just flip on the switch inside uh that service panel this is your water pump can easy to figure out all right kind of pan around here one more time And again, I did check for water damage around the slide outs. I checked out everywhere. I did not find any issues. But uh, whoever ends up buying this camper, I definitely recommend getting up on the roof and uh, just checking the lap sealant. And uh, if you're going to clean it, obviously, when you clean it, uh, definitely I would recommend using 50 uh, 50 bleach with a cleaner called Awesome. If you can't do that sometimes, just a, a soft scrub of bleach cleans up pretty good, especially the awnings and any of the white plastic. On the exterior of the camper let's back up here show off the outside okay all right if you want to come see the camper just call the number on the ad you deal directly with the owner if you like this video i'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up on youtube and if you want to keep up to date on rvs coming for sale by owner in the louisville kentucky area you can always follow help sell on facebook twitter pinterest and youtube